You're editing subtitles in a video and you want to spell check them, but your legacy software doesn't allow that. And you know that having a lot of grammar mistakes can make you look sloppy. So what do you do? Don't worry, got you covered. I'm Christina Cercara, content creator and strategist at Kapwing, an online video and image editing platform. And we have a tool that lets you edit your subtitles using your browser's native spell checking tool. It is free to use for videos up to seven minutes. You just need a login. But first, why is it so important to have captions in the first place and also to have them correct? Facebook did this study on video ads and found that videos that had captions had 12% longer view times. And a study by Play Media found that regular video views could be increased by up to 40% with captions. But if your work is riddled with grammar and spelling mistakes, you could be sending the wrong message. There are multiple studies that show that bad spelling and grammar can impact perceived intelligence and trustworthiness, which you don't want. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, go ahead, look for the link in the bottom and let's get started. This is the landing page. You can either click to upload a video or share a URL. I found this great video of the best cold opens from the office. It's hilarious. So I'm going to copy and paste, give it a minute. And then you're taken here. So let me walk you through this subtitle tool. Your video will play here. You've got a little play bar and then you'll see the progress of the movie, uh, sort of sliding here. All you can also press the space bar to get to start and stop. Um, that's where he hits Meredith. <laughs> um, and to add a subtitle, you've got a few different options. You can click add subtitle to do it manually or auto generate, which I won't do because it's kind of a long video. Um, but this, it's not a hundred percent accurate. So there's a lot of background noise or people speaking over each other. Not a great tool, but it is pretty helpful um, for, for sort of getting some of the timing, right? So, Part that I really want to subtitle is a cute interaction between Stanley and uh, Kevin. So starts at three seconds. Here we go. He says, "What's a three le seven letter word for purse?" So this is right where he stops speaking. So if I hit, this is my first subtitle. This is the end time. If I say set current time, the end of it it'll and it'll go right there so if I go back just a little bit to the beginning it's right at three seconds so you give or take a few I say set current time and then he says what's a seven letter word for and I spelled purse wrong BAM spell check <laughs> Kevin's response is satchel Maybe satchel is SAT. So I spell satchel. It is not. Boop. You get the little red squiggly line and you know that you need to change the spelling. A little pro tip is you can actually change the color of your speakers, which is convenient so you can easily see who's who. Let's see. Oh, you can download an SRT file, but you have to have a pro account. So it's not really relevant here. But if you're somebody who like needs the SRT file, that option is available. Okay. Now we hit done. Here are our subtitles. They're looking great. If you need to trim the video, you can do that. Here's a little trim button. It's like, I don't want to go into it now, but just letting you know you have the option to trim, adjust, crop your video, um, lots of different things. You can also change your settings to export it as a GIF if you wanted to instead of a video. It's another option, but we're going to just do export video. Okay, and when you're done, you'll be taken to this little window here. Let's just watch, make sure my subtitles came out. Great, that looks perfect. We have the option to download the video. We can go back and make edits. You can make a copy of the video if you wanted to duplicate it and just change a few key things. You can also copy a link. Since the video is hosted 
on Kapwing, you can copy, um, you can get a share link, send it with friends, share it on social media, share it directly on social media, embed it, a lot of options. And that's it. You're done. Et voila. It looks great. Your subtitles are perfectly captioned with no spelling mistakes. I mean, there might be some spelling mistakes. The browser-based spell check isn't totally accurate. There's still going to be some errors. So you do have to kind of like go through and like really make sure that it's good. But it is a great way to make sure that you don't have any big glaring mistakes. And that's it. Congratulations. It's all done. Share it and definitely share a link with us. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials.